Welcome back to Selly Entertainment. I'm your host, Orion Vincent, and tonight we got the new Western Bruins versus the Pacific Canadians. This is the BC PHL U15 AAA division. With me, as always, classic co host, Sean Simonson. Hello there, hello there. Glad to be back here in the booth watching this stuff that we call ice hockey, a great Canadian sport. Speaking of Canadians, one of the teams is called the Canadians, the Pacific Canadians. And the other one is the New Western Bruins, as you had said, and we're taking a look at them now. The goaltender is Murray for them, holding down the blue paint between the iron pipes. And at the other end is Azamosa. Yeah, there's Azamosa, Simonson. I believe for the first half of the game, is gonna start, and then the second half of the game, when they do the mid-ice clean, Shetra is going to go in that, Simonson. Well, that's if, as far as we know. Here we are with the Canadians looking sharp as can be and the new Western Bruins looking really snazzy in those threads. Yeah, Simonson, they both got their new jerseys, so this is, looks like two whole new teams here, Simonson. Looking sharp on the ice, which is what we love. Let's start this one off. Canadians in their own zone, they're fired up. Puck gets twisted up with the refs there. It goes into the neutral zone all over the place, but it's the Bruins there. Game possession number 88, Dawson. 88, Dawson has a puck there from fires it out front there. Puck scrambling there. Oh, look at that! Number 66, Montoya picked that puck out of the garbage and put it in the back of the net with a nice assist by number 17, Benish, and and number 88, Dawson. All right, okay, so there you go. 88, Montoya, you say, or uh, Dawson 80 is 88. All right, well, he throws the puck out into the front of the net, and it's scrambly, and then they manage to backhand whack that one away. Yeah, number 66, Montoya there, Simonson. Picked that garbage up when it was just a bunch of seagulls flying around, and uh, yeah, just whacked it away, Simonson. Put her, put her right back in the dump. Yeah, right in the dump where the seagulls belong. <laughs> one nothing for the Bruins. Here we are, the puck comes on the near side in the neutral zone and it's bounced back. Here's the Bruins, oh, and then he runs into a wall right there at the center ice line, yeah. right in front of the benches. Yeah, 17 on 17 crime there with Benish and Ryder there, Simon. It's a big collision. Anyways, there's... Uh, Ebby with a nice shot and a nice easy save by Azamosa. The Canadians there, oh, just kind of got clipped a little bit. That could have been a lot worse there. And there's number eight, Fitzgerald throws the shoulder there. The Canadians chasing the puck down low. Fire down low, Simonson, around the boards there. It's the Bruins who pick it up though there. Canadians, nice throw, another nice hit there. Physical game right away. And Murray covers it up, no harm, no foul. That is correct, there we are. The faceoff is won by the Canadians. Shot goes wide around the net there. Canadians go to collect it. They throw it down low, and there's a hit there delivered by the Bruins. Yeah, that's Gage Green right there, Simonson. Throws a nice hit on number 29, Pathel there. Uh, yeah, love to see it. Gage loves to throw the body, Simonson, and he's a small kid, so anytime that he connects like that, I'd love to see it. And a nice save by Azamoza. Here we are. Okay, so that's dished off to who's that, Dawson there? Oh, Bennis there, 17, Bennis takes a shot, and that one is denied by Azamosa. Yeah, denied, Simon said. There's six, Ebby turns around the puck. Oh, wow, the Canadians' rider just leveled him, Simon said. Look at this, Ebby there, and look at Ryder comes out of nowhere. I don't know, it wasn't even... <laughs> I don't know what happened there. He leveled them, Simonson. They're just throwing the weight around here, and they're trying to intimidate their opponent. And uh, the puck comes squirting out into the neutral zone, and it's corralled there, and now we got a call for a uh, penalty. Yeah, there's a high hit, Simonson. Look at it. It was behind the play there, but Dawson threw the huge high hit on number 77, Warren, there. Uh, you can see the puck was going, so the camera is following the puck, but you just caught enough of that to see. And Dawson's going to go sit in the penalty box, Simonson. There's Gage Green from the point, has a shot, and a nice save by Hazamoza. Azamoza with the save, and it comes back out the other way with the Canadians coming across the Bruins' blue line. Takes a shot, that one gets denied. Yeah, Oscar the Grouch, Simonson, back at it. They're trying to make things happen with all of his friends on Sesame Street. Has a shot there, and that was a nice blocker save by Murray there. Oscar had a rocket of a shot, so he didn't really catch that until he slowed it down. No, he didn't. There's a tip there right into the glove of Murray. Yeah, right into the glove of Murray. There's a Canadians there has a shot over the glove of Murray. Puck squirts away out front. Oh, Fitzgerald throws a little bit of a hit there. Fitzgerald regains the puck, caught, shook it loose there, Simonson. The Bruins number 81 there on the back end. Oh, I don't know if they hit the post or what, but that was a nice shot. Yeah, here and the Canadians turn it around and they're starting to train in the other direction, but it gets held up at the station. Yeah, held up at the station, Simonson. That was Dawson again. It throws a big hit on number 95. Nishikawa. 
Nishikawa laying there after the big crushing hit by Dawson, 88. Here's the Canadians, a shot. Murray collects that one and holds on. Yeah, he held on for dear life there, Simonson. Here's number 13 of the Bruins trying to thread the needle he can. He goes, oh, that's uh, Piliotis there. He goes sliding into the net there. He's waving an arm up like he's trying to call for a penalty, but there's no penalty. And the Bruins player just got stood up by number 28, Allegrado there of the Canadians. Allegrado, the tougher force there, Simonson, and he showed it. Okay, here we are. There's a lot of uh, bodies being exchanged here. Uh, tit for tat here, going back and forth. And uh, there's... Uh, Canadian player ridden into the boards and now the puck goes into the zone. Now they're coming back with it. The Bruins coming across the offensive line. Number 10 holds up, dishes it off to the point. Back in and he's, he feeds it to 10. The captain, he goes, he's looking, looking, looking for somebody. Throws it behind the net off the backboards, but there's nobody on the near side. And then they go and battle. The Canadians have it and try to get it out. And there's a lot of collisions happening here. Thomas, did you see that? Uh, was that Superman? Let's have a look at this. There's a lot of collision. And look at this out of the corner. The Canadians player just comes flying and leaves his feet and absolutely rocks one of the Bruins player in the head. I didn't see who that was. It might have been 88 Dawson there who he rocked. Nonetheless, sir, I, I don't know if that was legal or not. I don't know what was going on. Just a lot of guys wanting that puck. And that looks like it's the end of the first period of the hockey game tonight. Sure is, Simonson. It's one nothing for the Bruins over the Canadians. Very physical game, which I love to see, Simonson, because I love hockey and I love the physicality in it. Yeah, that's right. Here we are. There's a shot. And that one gets through the legs of Azamosa by Ur, number 10. Yeah, that's Air Simonson. Uh, as we know before, Jake. Uh, and he's got the jersey on. He's wearing the scene. What a goal. Right off the face off, Dawson wins it right back to number 17. Bennett's from the point there. Right to Air, number 10. And look at number 10. Just see the lane streak in and just fire it five hole and beats Azamosa right there, Simonson. Jake Air with the beautiful goal, wearing that beautiful C in those beautiful threads. Yeah, and excel excellent, excellent goal. Way to capitalize on it. They needed to get that one there to take off with a 2-0 lead so far in the second period of the hockey game. Here's the Canadians. A nice move by 77. Looking like a Paul Coffey, but not playing for the right team. Oh no, Simonson, not playing for the right team. Number 77, though. Nice shot. What a huge blocker saved by Murray, Simonson. That puck looked like it could have been going in the back of the net. The Canadians are definitely applying pressure, Simonson. What a moment, Murray! Oh, was that a poke check? Did Murray just save that with a poke check? Nonetheless, that was huge. And Piliotis comes from the massive hit behind the play, behind the net there, Simonson. Anyways, there's Dawson there of the Bruins, curling around, protecting that puck on his back end, turns it around, looks out front, feeds one of the Bruins players, can't quite get it, but then he gets it, spins around, has a shot there, number 17. Oh man, Benish there, what a huge save on Benish. Yeah, because Azamosa had to make a couple of real quick saves there. So there's the first one, the puck was bobbling, bouncing around, and had to regroup real quickly there to slide across to stop the rebound. And then it's out of the way. Here we are, once again, 29 of the the Canadians coming in, goes for a, oh, I thought he was gonna shoot. He feeds it in front to nobody and it's turned around by the new Western Bruins. But then there's a penalty on the play against the said team. Yeah, Simonson, number 13, Piliotis just absolutely ran over Ryder here. Let's have a look at this. Puck's right there, and look, Piliotis just came blatantly from behind and just absolutely ran him over. You can't be doing that, Simonson. Uh, I'm not sure if I see the stop signs in the back of their jerseys, though, Simonson, so maybe you can. Maybe they removed him in this league. You, you can't be running people over anyways like that. Anyways, here we are. Canadians have it. Ring it around back behind their own net. Oh, gets rubbed out real well behind the net there. And then the puck comes out into the neutral zone. Bruins have it. And then they throw it up the boards there. Bruins. Who's this? Piliotis comes in with a nice move. Shoots. Oh, a big save by Azamosa there. There's a rebound. And that one goes wide. We're going to have to take a little look at the sick dangles that are happening here by Piliotis. Goes, takes a shot, and just catches enough of it. Azamosa does just to keep that one out. Actually, Simon said he did too, but he also had the help of number seven there, the Canadians player, his skate. You can see the puck might have been bouncing in after, but number seven uh, hit his skate and bounced out. Anyways, nonetheless, play goes on. There's Dawson, number 88. Simonson turns it around, gains the zone of the Canadians, dishes number 17, Bennis. Bennis tries to feed someone out front. There's another Bruce player, and he scores! Number seven, Bruner, Simon.
Simonson of the New Western Bruins just put the Bruins up three to nothing with the beautiful assist by number 17 Benish and number 88 Dawson. Oh, right on. These boys are buzzing right now. Okay, as we roll it back, Dawson does all the work getting into the zone. He has draws three Canadian players in towards him and then feeds it off to his partner 17 there. Throws it to the net, little tippage on it, but then who's there to fire it in the back of the net? What? That guy you call Bruner? Yeah, Pruner there, Simonson. He just pruned the puck there in the back of the net. And uh, overall, great play. He was in the right place at the right time. He got the rebound there. And yeah, these, these kids definitely have hockey, a lot of hockey awareness, Simonson. And now we get the mid-ice game clean. And the goalies are going to swap, as we said in the beginning of the game. So Shetra is going to be going to net for the Canadians now, Simonson. Um, Asimoza played really well. He's going to go have a seat and cheer on his teammate. That's right. That's right. Here we are. The action continues on. Okay, so here's a replay. There's Dawson. Tries to make a move. Gets stood up right there by who's that? Oscar the Grouch. Oh, he was grouchy there, Simonson, and he showed it. There's number 10, Jake, feeds it down low. Right out front to number six, Abby there, and what a huge save by Shetra here to start this game, this mid-ice game clean. Yeah, okay, here we are. There's the shot, and that's the first real test that Shetra's had to experience here tonight. And there's a big collision there at the ring at line. Yeah, Simon. So look, Gage Green actually went for the hit and he got absolutely rocked by 29 Patho there. You can see his neck kind of whipped back at the collision of that hit. Um, nonetheless, he seems to be okay. He got up, so play's gonna go on. Yeah, here we are. Canadians have it. They're looking for an outlet pass as the pressure is gonna be applied and it's picked off by Dawson very easily. Throwing to 17, goes into the corner, looking for the point, finds it. Shot, and that one is denied. Oh, I thought that was gonna be in, Simonson. Denied. The Bruins there from the corner, fighting with the Canadian there. There's Benish there, goes in to help behind the net, looking, feeds, uh, who's that? Dawson, and he scores! Just like that. These two have major chemistry, Simonson. We've been seeing it all night. Oh, and Jake just goes and uh, has a little spill there. He's just so excited, I don't blame him. Well, of course, when your team is buzzing like this, it's right to be a little excited and sometimes you lose your footing. But here we are, so look at this. Puts on the brakes right behind the net there. Looking for somebody in front. Who's there? It's 88, Dawson. And that is right on the tape, right in the back of the net. Yeah, he put that, looks like right underneath the the pad of uh, Shetra there, right by the skate. And then there's Jake, just so excited. He can't contain himself, Simonson. I don't blame him. No, no, you can't. When you're up for nothing, it's hard to not get excited. But don't let it go to your head here because there's still another team. Fitzgerald tries to go through, but he gets stoned there. And it's Six who had it, and it's Fitzgerald. And then that one got shut down and directed to the side. Yeah, another huge save by Shetra there, Simonson. He's coming in this game sharp. There's Oh, you know what? I just want to point out Costas there on the bench where he should be, warming it up. I guess so, I guess so. Got to keep it warm. All right, there's a, a whole couple of little hits there as the puck comes out of the zone on the near side, and it's put back in. There's a whistle. Yeah, there's a penalty on the play here, Simonson, and uh, you know, I love that referee stash. I just got to shout him out. Absolutely beautiful stash. I don't think that was it. Jake threw the hit there. Oh, right there is Canadians number 43, Sadu, who just hit number six, Ebby, from behind there. You can see him whip forward there. Wasn't expecting it. And again, you cannot hit from behind in this league, so if the ref sees you, you're going to go sit for it. Yeah, okay, here we are. We got Air, Jake Air coming through, making moves. He goes to his backhand, to his forehand, throws that one at the net, and Shetra shuts it down. Yeah, Shetra says, shut up, and shuts it down. Uh, the Bruins are battling down low, number 81, but it's the Canadians who get rid of it. Uh, note, they're still fighting for it. Then they clear the zone, Simonson. They put it all the way down, and it's Piliotis who's going to pick it back up there on the backhand, curl it back around, start off from his own end, fire it up to, I'm not sure sure who that was, but he fires it right back down, and that's going to be the end of the second period, Simonson. It's been the Bruins all over the Canadians this game. The Canadians have had chances, but the Bruins are the ones who are up four to nothing. Yeah, they're the ones that are prevailing thus far in the hockey matchup. 
that we've got going on tonight. Billy Otis with a shot, goes wide. Here we are with the Bruins going, grabbing the puck, throwing it around the net, and they pick it up on the near side, and it's cleared out of the zone by the Canadians. And it's Billy Otis who goes and regroups, dishes it off to a partner in crime. Gage there, number nine. Greener up into the middle to who's that here? Gerald Fitzgerald style throws it into nobody because there was nobody home. No one's home, Simonson, home alone. Only Macaulay Calkins there. Puck back in the Bruins end. There's Gage, picks up the puck there, breaking out. Oh, it takes a little bit of a awkward hit there in the corner of the screen and he's down, Simonson. This doesn't look too good for Gage. He's wincing in pain. Um, it was kind of hard to see on the camera. The camera was following the puck, but I think we caught enough of it in the corner of the screen to see. And, oh, man, I hope he's okay, Simonson. This does not look good for Gage. No, no, we never want to see anybody get hurt in the fabulous sport of hockey. There. So it was a good hit, though. He was just finishing his check. And unfortunately, when Gage got rid of that puck, he was a little off balance, and by the time he got hit, he wasn't ready for it. Yeah, Simonson, it almost looked like when he got hit, it was a clean hit, but it looked like he kind of it kind of spun him around, and I'm not sure if his neck kind of tweaked on the boards when he was spinning. And as we seen earlier, he already had a really big collision which sprung his neck. So it could have just been a compound of things, Simonson. Nonetheless, I'm really happy to see him get up and walk out of there, Simonson. Now this is edited. He was actually on the ice for a very long time. So that's going to be the end of this game. Um, yeah, unfortunate end to the game. But uh, you know what? I just hope that Gage is okay. Oh, absolutely. Well, you know what? He got up and walked off on his own. So that's always a good sign.